Good morning everybody, Mrs Evans here again today and today we are going to do some English. So this is English for year one and year two. Last week your task was to look at a picture of a cat and label it and then think of some sentences using those labels and we had some super ideas, saw some lovely photographs of some of your work. So today we're going to use all of those ideas to make an advert for a cat. So I'm going to show you first an advert for a dog. So last week we looked at the story Wanted the Perfect Pet and in that story Henry really wanted a dog and this is the advert he put into the newspaper for a dog. So you can see that I've highlighted in yellow some of the things to describe a dog. So he must have a waggy tail, floppy ears, a soft wet nose, a warm furry tongue. And in green, I've highlighted some of the things that a dog should be able to do. So learn fantastic new tricks or be house trained. So today we're gonna to use those ideas, but instead of writing an advert for a dog, we are going to write an advert for a cat. So here is my labels that I used for my cat last week. So you can see I've done some things about what the cat looks like. So I've told you he has a long furry tail, pointy ears, a cold wet nose, and I've also thought about some things about a cat. So they're clever, they like to chase mice. So I'm going to use those things today to write my advert. So in your pack that you received last week, your paper pack, you should have a piece of paper that looks like this. It says wanted the perfect pet. So that's what we're going to be using today. OK, so the first job you need to do is draw a picture of a cat. So in that box here, you need to draw a picture of a cat. So you might want to pause the video here and see if you can do a lovely drawing of a cat. OK, so there's my drawing. The best I could do. I'm sure yours are wonderful. OK, so once you've got your picture of a cat to go on the advert, the next job is to write some sentences. OK, so I'm going to show you my example, how I've started. There we go. So you can see I've started my sentences. It says wanted the perfect pet at the top and then I put also known as a cat. And I've got my capital letter, my finger spaces and my full stop. Then I've started to tell you some of the things that a cat must have. So must have pointy ears, sharp claws and a cold, wet nose. So those things I've used the ideas from my picture and my label. So you can do exactly the same. Have a look back at your picture of your cats and your labels and see if you can use them in a sentence. OK. So once you've done that, then I want you to think about all the other things that a cat must be. So what must a cat be able to do? What would you like a cat to be able to do? So you can write some sentences. OK, so that is your task today. So use your labels and your sentences from last week to complete your own advert. I want everybody to remember to use capital letters at the start of a sentence, finger spaces between words and full stops at the end. And then I've got a little extra challenge for you today, and that's to include some noun phrases. So those in our words, instead of just saying the cat needs to have eyes, we, we need to describe what those eyes look like. So you can see here I put small round eyes. So think about what a cat must have. He must have ears. What sort of ears? He must have a tail. What sort of tail? He must have claws. What sort of claws? See if you can use some adjectives to describe those nouns. That's your little extra challenge for today. OK. And we really look forward to seeing pictures of your adverts. Last week, we, all of us teachers got some lovely photographs of work and we really, really love seeing them. So please send your pictures of your adverts to Mrs Browning, Miss Griggs or myself. And we really look forward to seeing them. So good luck. Goodbye.